free fight arguments leading to the very real threat of violence at Wembley. Well, most of you, I'm sure, know the result, but the way it was reached will really live in the memory for a very long time. A Levine Duff promotion, Harry Carpenter is at the ringside as the bonfire night fireworks are about to go off. And these two come to an arena that tonight is guarded by the most massive police presence. There are police guarding every entrance. They're guarding the barricaded ringside. There is no alcohol on sale. There's been no fanfares. The whole build-up is being kept to a minimum. But as you can hear, the crowd are already beginning to pick up the scent of a good fight. This contest is a middleweight contest of 12 rounds, three minutes each round. A final eliminator for the British middleweight championship. Presenting... So the fight that started with a brawl between these two outside a gaming club in London a month ago now reaches the place where it should be in the professional boxing ring. 82,500 pounds these two are splitting a record purse for a non-title fight. And the place is tense with excitement as they get underway. Christie in the white shorts and they get together immediately and there's no love lost between these two that much we know Christie, loser of just one professional fight and over goes Christie in the opening 30 seconds and his legs have gone Taylor's got him inside the first minute sensation upon sensation and Taylor's going for the finish Christie's been stopped in one round once before, his only defeat, and it might just happen again. A firework explodes in the arena. Desperate moments for Errol Christie. And the Kohler fans are going berserk with excitement. is coming across dangerously again as Christie tries to get his jab working to keep him away. One very near the borderline, a left hand from Kayla. And these two swapping punches as though there's no tomorrow. needle fight, a grudge fight, it's plain for all to see. And this time Taylor goes over, delayed action, right hand got him, so they've been down once apiece in the opening round. What a start to this fight. Christie now going for the finish. He nearly lost the fight in the opening minute, and now he's right back in it. Taylor looks very hurt to me. About 15 seconds left of this opening round, and what an opening round it is. coming up of an amazing opening round 
And Christ is still punching at the belt. And Kayla didn't like that. And Harry Gibbs goes over to Kayla and says, just calm down. Calm down. It's difficult to be calm in these circumstances, in this explosive atmosphere, and a first round that had all the makings of a sensation. Taylor was the first to score in the opening 30 seconds or so. Right hand on the side of the face, and over went Christie, and suddenly the defeat from Jose Saiz looked like happening again to him. But Christie came back. He's got a cut eye here, old Christie. The left eye is gone. So, another sensation in this opening round. Second up, round two. So one knockdown apiece, and the fight only three minutes old. Christie's left eye greased. The white grease standing out right. on his dark face. This is free slugging, and it shows the needle between them. Which one's going to be the stronger? Taylor's been beaten three times in 32 professional fights. Christie beaten just once in 21. Christie's right hand comes over again. The left hook again catches Taylor. Taylor's walking into punches in his anxiety to get close to Christie. Taylor snorts through the nose on which he's had a sinus operation. The bubble signature tune comes again for Taylor. Christie just about got the upper hand at this moment. Taylor finds him with the right, though. Must be even money now, which way this goes. Good right hand again from Christie. Taylor snorts again. three minutes of another fast and furious round. Kalov, 24 years old, the former British and Commonwealth middleweight champion who lost those titles to Tony Simpson in this very ring just under a year ago on points over 12 rounds. At one time, Mark was ranked the world's number six middleweight. Second up, round three. Well, the build-up to this fight was unfortunate, to say the least. The fight itself is marvellous. referee in Britain has been brought in to look after this and it's needed, Harry Gibbs these two are hitting each other with every punch in the book and with all their force a 
No one again from Taylor. Oh, and he's got Taylor over. Round three. Second time Taylor's been down. He takes a rest. So it's 2-1 now in Christie's favour. Taylor in trouble on the ropes. Somehow gets away from them. Shaken again by that knockdown. Taylor trying to get his own right hand to work. Taylor has come up off the floor to win in other fights. This is a fight to the finish in every sense of the word here. This is as vicious and tough and rough a fight as I've seen for a long time in a British ring. Harry Gibbs, even Harry Gibbs, finding this difficult to control. There's a good right, and Christie falls into the clinch. If he hadn't fallen into the clinch, he'd have been on the floor. So Kayla strikes back again. And Gibbs can barely part them. Christie's hurt. There's the bell. And Christie is glad to sag onto his stool. What an amazing fight this is. So Kayla had the last word at the end of the third round. But Kayla was on the floor earlier. And this was the moment when he was in trouble again. There it is, the big right hand booming through. And Mark was on the seat of his pants for the second time. Signal, round four. The fourth round of this truly amazing fight. They go straight to it. No quarter given or asked. An amazing fight. The grudge fight of this year or any other. The two men just bludgeoning each other. There's no other word for it, and Kayla's getting at him again. Will Christie survive this onslaught? Christie's left eye cut, remember. in a moment when these two have rested. Taylor is the man with the look of victory on him at the moment. Harry Gibbs shirt spattered with blood. Christie looks tired inside. Taylor keeps up this savage onslaught. In it goes again, hooking all the time. There is some fearful punishment being exchanged. Christie looks very tired. Taylor seems to have found new life. Christie doing his best to avoid the punches coming at him. He's ducking some of them. Trying to get his left to work again. Trying to pull his boxing together. And make some sense out of this fight which for a moment looked like becoming a nightmare for him. Boxing his way back into it.
Taylor has slowed down. They have a, a more aggressive punching coming now from Caleb. There's the right hand again. The ball's coming up. And they haven't heard the bell and on they go and Kayla has to be pushed back to his corner. Christie comes over as though he's going to have an argument and is taken away by seconds. And Gibbs has now given Kayla two cautions about exchanging punches after the bell. Here we are again towards the end of that fourth round with Kayla getting on top again. One really good right, there it is. And Christie falls inside. The bell came and went, and still they went on slugging. Seconds out, round five. And those first four rounds have flown by. Kayla showing what a hard man he is. Can Christie cope with him? Savage fighting machine. <laughs> Christy most certainly looks the more tired of the two. No question of that. Glad to hang on inside. They put so much into the first four and a half rounds that the pace, naturally enough, is slowing a little. Or is it? And Christie in trouble again. Taylor seems to have a built-in clock. He knows when the three minutes are coming up, and he finishes every round like this. And he puts another one in at the bell. And he finishes the round well on top, Kayla. Well on top now. Although he's been down twice. Christie, again. The eye giving him trouble. Kayla giving him far more. Second down. Round six. Christie's boxing skill is still there, but the punches don't seem to have too much effect. They don't keep Kayla away, and they don't now seem to hurt Kayla either. Well, it always looked like being a classic encounter on paper, and it's more than lived up to the promise. trying to get up on his toes and use the jab. A 
savagery of these exchanges is really quite astonishing. Christie somehow hanging in there. Another thudding right hand to the top of Christie's head, doing him no good again. A minute to go in the sixth. Taylor still pulling his way forward. Hardly ever taking a backward step. Cutting in punch after punch, and Christie stays with him and gets his own right hand back as well as the left. And these two are taking everything out of each other. They're glad to hold on and hang on. And we're only halfway through. Both taking a breather now, and that's hardly surprising. break at the bell you sense now that it's going to be a question of determination that will win this who can stand up the longest and show the most courage Kalor putting up the fight of a lifetime here having been on the floor twice and at this moment looks the stronger of the two men and still handing out a lot of punishment and Christie who's had trouble with that eye from the opening round somehow staying there with Kayla despite what's coming at him and providing a fight that everyone will remember. Second out, round seven. <laughs> Kayla now is heavily greased above the eyes, as Christie is. It's an ominous fact, I suppose, from Kayla's point of view, that uh, his three defeats, the only three defeats on his professional record, have all occurred in this ring at Wembley. A disqualification against Tony Serra for hitting after the belt. The defeat inside the distance by the tough American Buster Drayton. And the points defeat by Tony Simpson. All here at Wembley. complete hometown fighter, Kayla. He's had every single professional fight in London. The last time he fought out of town was in the Moscow Olympics of 1980. And Christie sees his chance again. The chance to get back on top, and this time it's Kayla that's hanging on inside. And Kayla looks hurt. Kayla's put so much work into the opening six rounds. I wonder how much he's got left. And somehow, from somewhere, Kayla finds the strength to come swinging back. These two fighting as though they're on the cobblestones outside. Which is where all this started in October. Good short right from Christie. This time Christie finishes on top with the right hand. These two men are giving everything in this fight. And still, you wouldn't like to bet which way this might go. Kayla suddenly found the energy to come back after being in some trouble earlier in this round. Came storming back. Throwing punches all the time and forcing Christie back and back. Second down. to go if we get that far right. 
Taylor, a pound and a half heavier at the weigh-in earlier today. 11 stone six, right on the limit. Christie 11, four and a half. himself most on this fight. Christie's had his moments, but they've only been moments. And the most of the time, we've looked at Christie and felt that he might be swept away under this non-stop barrage of punches from Kalo. But here he is, he's still there. It says a lot for the courage and the stamina and the fitness of these two men they've given and taken so much. <laughs> Taylor's strength is really quite amazing, quite terrifying from Christie's point of view. Again and again, these two men seem to reach down into the very deep reserves of strength and find something. Cross and kisses Taylor. All the animosity, all the needle, all the grudge has gone out of these two men after that memorable battle to the finish. And Taylor came out on top after having been on the floor twice. Absolutely astonishing finish, but worthy of the fight as it went all the way. Truly amazing fight, lived up to everything. And there's no further animosity between the two men. They've punched it out of each other. Christie acknowledges defeat, and Kayla accepts victory.